In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and enable or disable FaceTime reaction effects inside of FaceTime. Now, it's actually very simple to do. Just follow along closely to ensure you get every step correct. Now, sometimes on some phones, so certain iPhone models and certain iOS versions, you're not going to have these features available. So if you follow the steps I tell you today and they're not available, then it probably means you can't access it on your phone or your iOS version. So I'd recommend going ahead and updating your iOS version. And if that doesn't work, then you'll have to probably update your phone by getting a newer version of it. So what we first need to do is open up FaceTime like I've done here. And now that I'm in the FaceTime call, what we need to do is we need to go to the top right of our phone and we need to scroll down. And basically what this is going to do is going to open up something called the control center. And this is where we can basically change the effects available. So I'm just going to turn my camera on here for that. And I'm going to scroll down here just like that. And in the top left hand side, you're going to see the option that says effects. Now for me, it says no effects right now. but I want to go ahead and tap on that. So once I've tapped on it, you're going to be able to turn on all the different effects available for your device. Now for me, I only have portrait mode because I'm on an iPhone 11. So my phone is not updated enough to actually have the reaction effects. But if you do have it, then it will be down here or say something like a reaction effects and you'll be able to turn it on there and be able to start using it. Now somewhere else you can actually get some cool effects that are not reaction effects but they're similar is if you just go onto FaceTime itself, you can go to the bottom left and you can see there's a little star. Down here you've got a ton of different things. So you've got your uh, Memoji, filters, text, shapes, fitness, stickers. Um, you've got all these different sort of things down there that you can use which are similar to the uh, FaceTime reaction effects. But that's basically how you go ahead and enable it if you have it and to disable it you just want to go to the same place and uh, do the same process but disable it. But if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make and I'll see you in the next one.